going to be swapping out case fans in my video editing PC. This PC was built just to edit videos such as the video that you guys currently see now and other videos that you guys see on YouTube. They were basically all done on this particular PC build. There's also a uh, video of the actual PC build itself to kind of explain what hardware is inside this PC. This video, guys, we're basically going to be replacing case fans from my current computer rig. So, without further ado, I'm going to move stuff out the way to kind of show you guys exactly what our current setup looks like. And then you guys can uh, basically see the process of replacing case fans. These are the fans that we're going to install. They're the F12s 120 blue LED case fans. Let's remove this temperature glass. We want to put this temperature glass in a safe spot. So this is one of the case fans, top, bottom, and rear case fan. These are some really, really, really nice case fans. They're very, very thick blades. You want to ensure that when you get case fans, you get case fans with some very, very, very thick blade. These are really thick blades, uh, not too flexible. The real flexible ones, they are, tend to not be beneficial when it comes to uh, air cooling. Thicker blades, better the air cooling of your computer components. Remember that including these these are some really thick blades real thick it's hard for you guys to see on camera but physically touching it that's real thick this is the admm versus the 120 just in case you guys may be wondering what's the difference the difference is size which we all know size matters when it comes to fans Check that out. Let's put this fan over it. Just look at it. This type of small fan, let me tell you, it's gonna it's gonna be a task to cool those components. And just look how small this is. We got that matched up there. So just imagine, and that's an eight core CPU. Something of this nature, this small, you know, size, it's really hard to functionally cool your computer case. Short story of why you see a lot of 120 size fans here because they do one of a heck of a good job cooling all of our components we even got 120s up there so highly recommend that you guys grab some 120s this is going to be our new case fans we have three of these case fans total they are all blue blue is my favorite color so that's why i'm rocking with some blue case fans they all utilize power from our power supply so all three of these utilize power from the power supply, which is great because we don't have to worry about, you know, shortage of fan. Uh, let's see if we can identify. Here we go. So system fan ports right there. Let's see if we can kind of let you guys see it. So as you can see right there, it says system fan. So those are typically for case fans that require that type of cable which i believe is it gonna be this bevel here and here i can't remember i think it's this one that is connected to the motherboard and i believe this fan and this fan is connected to the power supply but nonetheless they're all going to be connected to the power supply so you guys can see exactly how she looks so this is we got a led case fan here black case fan at the bottom and at the rear a black case fan uh, we have a multicolor two multicolor case fans at the top 
and our actual CPU fans they actually change different colors you just gotta keep an eye on it and you'll see it went from red to green so that does have a RGB effect it's just that it's not one of those fans that you can actually see that's a different color it's not one of those fans that you can actually control um, you know they're pretty much run as is and that's just all dusty and dirty we're going to remove the front cover vacuum it clean um, which we're not going to vacuum the actual computer but we'll vacuum the front let's get to it clean it up replace the fans and head on down the road forgot to mention so this bottom fan it's actually drawing its own air from the front so some of this air that's being pulled into the case is being swept through and basically this fan here it's basically cycling its own air which is forcing that air up to our graphics card here and the reason being is because this graphics card was getting very 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 hot so what I ended up doing is throwing a fan, a case fan at the bottom here. And this case fan tremendously cooled this graphics card. I mean, temps were just absolutely just phenomenal. Actually, even though it doesn't have a low, we'll right click on our tax manager and we'll go to performance. And let me slide this over. And you can see those temps right there, 31, 32. And yes, I, I understand that we don't have the temperature glass here, but when I have the temperature glass on and I'm in Adobe, I'm running a load, it's still at the 30 temps with the temperature glass on in Adobe Premiere uh, doing some video encoding. So if you guys have a graphics card and you do not have a side cover, where you can actually install a fan throw a fan at the bottom of the case such as this and that will tremendously cool your graphics card now i have tape tape is actually on the ends and that's what's keeping this thing secure and basically the tape that i use was some gorilla tape and i basically just cut them up made some really small cuts you can somewhat see the tape in between there. But uh, yep, that's what's keeping that from moving. So whenever I move my case, this thing doesn't move. And it doesn't vibrate neither, uh, especially when the RPMs uh, of the fans go up. The whole point of me updating my case fans to these blue LED case fans is because every time I'm looking at my actual computer, let me turn the light back off, um, it's just like I see this here, but everything else is just black and with the temperature glass It's kind of like, uh, I need to do something with that because that looks kind of tacky to basically get this front cover this front panel off What you want to do is you want to locate These little pins here now what you're supposed to do is push them in like clamp them down and push them out it's one, that's two, I believe there's one at the top. Yep, right. So what I'm gonna do is pull my computer case a little bit far out from the desk. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys. <clears throat> there we go. I'm just using my hand and basically I pull, pull, push. It's like that push it's a wet dry uh, vacuum and it's also a blower so if you were to take this hose here from the vacuum side and plug it up to the rear of the blower side it basically will just use it as uh, you know I guess you could say compressed air and it will blow all of the air out 
it's late 12 o'clock in the morning i can't just take this outside and take this outside and do that because it's too too late to do it so another time another time but we have the power cable removed from our power supply so this power cable has been removed from the power supply so there's no power there's nothing connected to the computer it's all free so the direction of how you want to attack this is up to you however in my preferred method uh, what i commonly typically do is disconnect our case fans wires and then i go about removing the actual case fans from the case so what i'm gonna do is switch the case around and remove the wires so i know we got one case fan cable here uh, we also have another one for this one but you can't see it it's on the other side and this one is the same thing it's on the other side so we're just going to switch it around all right so what we're going to do is remove uh, these two screws there's a black screw here and there's another one there loosen our side panel I have two case fans at the top, so I already know that these are my two top fan case wires. What I'm gonna just end up just doing is just disconnecting these fans in general, so that way I can kind of get everything separated to really see. So these two wires, these are my top case fans. So I'm going to set that off to the side. We'll need to rewire that. On the side here, I have a rear. So, right here is my rear. This is my rear case fan. This wiring right here. So, what I want to do is disconnect that. So, this is. Bad boy's going to get removed. Golly, this thing is ended. Wiggle it. There we go. Whew. So, this is my rear case fan. That's going to get removed. All right. So, that's. This can actually be pushed in into the case. I'll just push it in just a little bit and then I'll pull it from the other end. And that basically tells me that this is my cable that needs to be pulled. I know by fact that this cable is a case fan. So this must be my one of my front case fans so we got a lot of wires at the top so you want to be careful not to pull your whole front panel completely off unless you're going to basically disconnect these wirings which i am not so i'm gonna just let it dangle just a little bit it's not pulling anything it's got enough slack here that's how i always build my computer so that way the front panel if it's got wiring in the front leave some slack so that way i can always take this cover off now our whole goal is to basically physically see the wirings for our fans. Now I can tell that this is a wiring for a fan which I believe it's already disconnected. Yep, already disconnected this thing here. So this wiring is already disconnected for this top fan. Now this one is basically the case fan and that's typically uh, like along this surface path here. So it's kind of hard to visually see from a camera perspective so basically what i want to do is pull this wire 
pull it back and forth. Don't really pull it, but pull it back and forth. Take your other hand and feel on the other side of where that wire is pulling and then somewhat pull it out some so that way you can turn the computer case around and look for it from there. But more than likely from you guys, your perspective, you'll basically pull and tug on this wire just a little with your computer case turned around and that way you can actually physically see it. But since I'm recording, it's on the other side. So yeah, some might get what I'm saying. The beautiful thing about my computer front panel is that it comes off from the actual frame. Uh, it's got a dust shield on it so i can technically take this and you know take it outside and blow it off but again i gotta wait until it's actually a good time of the day so right now what i'm gonna do is technically use my vacuum cleaner and just vacuum clean it for the time being Alright guys, so we identify that this wiring right here that I am pulling on, which is going from here and on up to here, which if I follow it, it's going up to this cabling here. And I can just basically pull this loose, bam. Now we disconnected both of the front case fans. Alright, so all of our front two case fans rear case fans they've all been disconnected we can now proceed to the step of actually physically removing them and then once we got the new ones installed then we're going to run through our process of connecting the new ones to the actual power supply and not these connectors which basically connects to the motherboard all right guys give me a minute i'm trying to i got this panel here that i'm trying to tape up to temporary keep it up in the air so now we can temporarily keep that up in the air without pulling any wires off. So here's our top case fan, lower front case fan. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw. There's another screw here. Typically you have four screws, so you'll have a screw here and a screw here. But as you can see, at the time when I had pretty much installed this, I ran out of case fans, uh, screws. And I just put pretty much put two two screws here just to secure it. Disconnect all of these screws. Be careful because there's a tendency that these screws they can cut you if you basically squeeze them or handle them the incorrect way. This is the stock case fan. I'm just going to pull it out of the computer case. When it comes to these 120 fans, especially the nice thick ones, save them, save them. Cause you can always use them for another area of the computer such as, you know, I can actually utilize this one um, underneath my graphics card. This thing would draw way more air than the one that's at the bottom. So you actually, you know what, I'm going to do that. Our whole goal is to draw fresh air from outside the computer case, inside the computer case, so that way it'll pull all the way back through, so that fresh air will cool our computer components and then exhaust out. So in order to accomplish that, again, we're going to have this flat side here mounted like that and keep that naked side like that, so that way air will go in and on through okay that's how you guys want it so right along here there is and i guess you guys can kind of see my finger but there's a, a hole here and there you, you guys can see it so that's my finger right there ah my goodness i should have never done that again this flat side here is basically going to be like that inside the case so what i'm going to do is fish this power cable through first, fish this through the case, and there we go, got it right here. Alright, so we're going to spin that bad boy around like that. 
So you want this wire to be closer to the wall. You don't want the wire to go like that or around like that. You want it to be as close as the wall it can be so that way this wiring is not in the way of the fan, case, anything of that nature. So we're just going to look at this visually. Let me put this fan down there. Let's get another fan. So this is going to be top. This is going to be our bottom fan. I'm going to feed our wire through the case. Wire has been fed through. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take my magnetized Phillips screw. This is the magnetized Phillips screw and begin the installation. It's always easier to use magnetized Phillips screws. Now, as you guys can see earlier, I had my drill. I'm not going to use that because we're dealing with screwing in into plastic. We don't want to strip it, so I'm going to use a hand tool. So as you can see, I got one screw here, one screw here. Now I'm going to put in two screws for the top. I want to get everything situated before I start truly tightening stuff down. So you got one screw there. out with one screw here so I'm gonna tighten it up so that way we got airflow from the top from the middle I'll say middle section I wouldn't say bottom and there we go Let's do a spin test Make sure that we don't have anything in the front touching. We want nothing to touch the fan. Nothing. The position of where you want your fans is all on you guys. It is all on your preference. Good. All right, so now I'm going to use some uh, screws from the bag since previous screws that I have all gone. really if you're basically swapping out case fans you can reuse your previous case fan screws uh, only time I wouldn't reuse them is if they're actually stripped out so many of the times these manufacturers they don't um, manufacture their own screws you know, they get them made. So they're pretty much universal. And not too tight, but just right. One more spin. Good to go. So now, since I kind of have my top taped up, I'm going to bring it down and let me bring my cover, put my cover back on. Just pull it on. Just pop it back on. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to, we're going to push the, we're going to basically put these little pins, little plastic, plastic pins, frame. Uh, we're just basically going to push them back in to the prospective holes that they belong into. I'm pretty sure there's a 
technical term for it, but it's what we're racking up with today. You really don't have to uh, tap them, but that's just what I did for the time being. Spin around, and we're on the back to our rear. So I took my hand, and I'm going to... Here's the wiring for this rear case. I'm just going to pull it through. And there we go. So now we can remove this. We can just basically use our screwdriver. Again, if I wasn't recording, I would be catching the fan before it drops. And actually, I can do that now. So that way it doesn't drop on our uh, motherboard or any other component. So we're just going to put this into storage until, you know, if there's another build. We already have a 120 case fan ready and available. What we're going to do is we want, basically, we want to pull air from the case out the case. All right, we got cool air being driven into the case from the front two fans, and we have heat being pulled from our CPU, and the CPU is also pushing that heat outside the case. So here's the CPU here, and its fans are basically pushing the heat out of this case. So basically what we want to do with this fan is we want it to pull that heat from the case so again this is me I'm the heat and I want to go out I want to enter out this fan and in order to do so we need to have this fan mounted with the flat surface because that's going to exhaust the air out so it's going to go like that into the case all right so I got my wire I'm just going to feed it through the case Pulled it through the case. I'm gonna lift the fan up some. Again, <clears throat> we want this wire to be as close as it can be against this wall inside the case. And that way, we want it away from the fan blades, away from the actual frame of the fan or the case, so that way it does not get snug. It's the proper way. I push this bad boy underneath here and like that. And bam. Alright, so with one hand, I'm gonna see if I can hold it. Yep, got one. There we go. Alright. really don't have to put any pressure to get the screw to catch you just feed it once you get those first two you can just take your screw bit put it against the actual hole uh, on the actual case of the fan and just turn the screw and it'll catch those threads will catch all right guys remember I stated that I have a custom fan mount at the bottom to provide additional cooling for our graphics card it's absolutely it works wonderful works wonderful again this is a stock case fan that came with the computer case what we're going to do is actually use this in replacement of this fan because this fan yeah uh, it works but it's doesn't work as great as this i'll just say that so again i got this little sticky gorilla tape and on here we got the gorilla tape on here as well so what I'm going to do is just take that off, take this bad boy. I want to pull this cable through here, through the case. So the beautiful thing about this computer case is that I can actually feed it on the grill. You guys can't really see it, but you can somewhat see some light back there. And that's basically what I'm doing is feeding this cable on through there, up there. So it'll be like that, and airflow will blow up. The fan rotates this way and thus produces air outwards. I need a 
looks like I need to put some new ones on because this yeah, these aren't really going to stick too much, but let's find out. No, no, that works. Just need to mesh it, mush it down. There we go. Kind of force it down like that. What we got here is our final steps, which is basically connect all our case fans to the power supply cable. All right, so two new case fans in the front. These are the cables for them. What we can do is we can connect them as I showed before. Kind of got to make sure you got it in there correctly. Kind of wiggle it in. There we go. So we got our two front case fans connected. Let's take the rear case fan, which is here. Join that to the back of the two front ones. Bam. There we go. Now all of the three case fans are connected. So at the bottom, this cable right here is from our power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that to the back of here. Bam! We got power from my power supply providing power to the front two case fans and the rear case fan. Now, last, last. We disconnected our top two case fans, so we need to reconnect them. We're gonna do the same process. Connect them like that. And we can also we can also conjoin them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect them separately. It's all up to your preference, guys. And that's that. So now we're going to try to hide these cables somehow, some way. Pretty sure everybody's got their own way of hiding cables. My way may not work. It may not work for you guys. Let me get some zip ties and try to clean this up a little bit. And then I'm going to put my side panel cover back on. And then we're going to put the temperature glass back on, and then we'll power this beast up just to show you guys that we're good to go. Instead of having that, you know, multicolor LED fan up top and then a black fan at the bottom, which looked absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> now we got something that actually blends in. And of course, you know, we got the multicolor two case fans at the top. Our CPU uh, dual 120 fans are RGB
fan, which the black fan, case fan, you can't really see it there. But she's there and she's drawing some cool air. So I'm gonna move this box out the way. Kind of put my hand back here. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man. I can feel that. I can feel that. That's some good air right there. I'm just trying to feel for any heat. Even that right there, that's pushing out some, some air. So it's generating some air around this case. I'll tell you that for a fact. Oh yeah, that feels good. I like that. I like that a lot. Those bad boys, they are running smooth. So smooth. This thing is quiet, it's running good. Let's go ahead and check me out. That's me. <laughs> you can see more of that my uh, Tundra build. It's on my YouTube page to kind of show you exactly how I lifted my truck, uh, how I uh, painted the wheels, how I found the tires. You know, I did my truck build. So right click on the task bar. Select Task Manager, go back to Performance, and as you can see, I'm still around the same temps. I would open up Adobe, but I don't have my actual data storage hard drive, external hard drive connected, uh, which has all my actual videos to encode something to kind of show you, you know, exactly how she works with a demand and my uh computer it's ethernet connected um so right now in my room where i actually do a lot of work and as you guys can see there's a lot of tools and stuff here um i don't have any ethernet cable so any device that i actually technically work on i'll just pop in you know a usb wireless to kind of do that from there so i don't have a connection at this moment to you know even pull up youtube to show you a load but ah, she's working she's working guys so that's basically the process of installing case fans you know i do apologize for the video being so long but you know i wanted to kind of i don't want to just show you guys i want to explain the process and explain why we're setting up our case fans in such manner for such airflow so hopefully guys this video has been helpful to you guys be kind to drop a like comment and don't forget guys hit that subscribe button baby because man i tell you i need that i need that and also guys you know if you may know any other family member or friends that are trying to you know replace their fans share this video guys because i'm telling you man the more knowledge that we share guys the more empowering we will be uh when it comes to building computers and fixing issues guys because you know at the end of the day guys we all guys want to be able to learn something so that way we'll be able to be more dependable more reliable the more helpful to others uh, so the more that we learn for ourselves the more helpful reliable we will be for others you know because you know at the end of the day guys we all need help Look at that. Ooh. Yes, Lord. That's beautiful. That is beautiful.